In this video, I'm going to show you how to perfect the art of writing AI content that Google will love, step by step. Hi, this is the Tech Agitator with some more good stuff for you. If you're struggling with how to get your website or your blog articles ranking safely in Google, as well as actually keeping your readers engaged and making sure you deliver what you say you will when someone comes to read your article or post, this video walks you through exactly what you need to do so that you can perhaps get back into Google's good graces if you're one of the unfortunate ones who's had their site sidelined by Google's latest updates. And more importantly, you want to keep your readers engaged and give them what they're asking for and keep them coming back to you because you've established your content to be actually helpful to them. But if you're worried about using AI content because you're afraid Google will punish you, fear not. The future of SEO looks like a user-based future. Here's what I mean by that. You care about which web page provides the best results for you and what you're looking for. That's all about optimizing for a user. Google has even stated that backlinks have less of an emphasis on their algorithm than they used to. Google is purely shifting towards what a user wants. So stick around and I'm going to show you how to do just that. Let's get started. So the first thing you want to do when perfecting the art of writing AI content that Google will love is to make sure we fully understand what our writing is meant to accomplish. Now, I know at first glance that might sound obvious, but stop for a minute. How often do we stop to ask ourselves, what do I want to do with this article, post, or response to a question? What do I want it to accomplish? Or what is the true objective here? For example, if you want to tell a story, does your outline successfully tell that story? You might want to dig deeper and ask, is my story meant to be funny or sad or evoke a certain emotion or response? Am I doing that? Well, let's say you want to promote a product and you want to do so by answering a person's questions about that product, or it can be a service, this is an example that we're going to use in this video. And based on this example, one thing to note here is the intent of the person asking a given question about your product or service. Do they have buyer intent, meaning they are looking for more information to help them make a purchase? More on that later. Or are they only seeking information so they can learn more about a product or service for them to finally make a decision to buy perhaps in the near future. It's super important to make sure you understand what intent you are addressing because it is what will ultimately inform how you produce that particular piece of content and make it super easy for you to zero in on exactly how you will accomplish that objective. So we're gonna look at a few features here within the text Cortex platform they're very easy to use, but very powerful. We're going to look at the expand feature. Um, we're also going to look at the summarize feature and also the rewrite feature. These are going to quickly allow you to accomplish whatever objective you're trying to accomplish in your, again, your blog post, your article, your response to a question, perhaps on a forum. And it doesn't have to take a whole lot to do that. So I'm gonna show you these simple, powerful tools. And if you're looking at the screen here, you'll see that we are in the back end of the text.cortex platform, where you can see some of the features that they offer over here in the left uh, panel. And what we're going to work within here are their rewriting tools. You'll see I have expand up here at the top because that's what we're going to do first. And then I'll show you the rewrite feature and the summarize. Again, very, very easy and simple, but very powerful features to use. Now, you can do that within the Text Cortex platform, as you see here. I wrote that sentence, make sure we fully understand what our writing is meant to accomplish. And we can expand on that here. But if you've seen my earlier videos around Text Cortex, I love the fact that it integrates into pretty much 
any web browser, any online form that you're using. So I'm going to do all of this in the Google Docs platform and show you how we can take something as simple as a quick question or a comment and expand on that. So here we go. How am I able to do this straight from within a Google Doc, you ask? Great question. Glad you asked. It is because Text Cortex also offers a browser extension that downloads into your Google browser. That is what enables you to use it across a multitude of various sites, platforms, and online docs forms such as this uh, Google Doc, as you see on the screen here. And you'll notice that the Text Cortex icon is over here in the corner, our trusty little co pilot that we can refer to you at any time. So once you've integrated that into your browser extensions, you'll see here this question. What I have is, what is retinol? And that's because recently, you know, I've been trying to get my skin to look better, uh, keep that useful glow that I've been sporting all these years. And I was doing some YouTube research, finding out what I need to do to get my skin clearer. And I actually had this question myself, what is retinol? what is it supposed to do so i felt like since this is a recent purchase i made what better example than to use this for my own buyer information information seeking experience to share with you guys the power of this platform and how it can help you also so we have the simple question here again what is retinol that's what i wanted to know like what does it do so, so i can determine if it's something that i really need for for my skin and this is what I'm talking about. Like this is the type of question that represents, it could represent buyer intent, but often it represents someone who has information seeking intent, which means that they want to perhaps learn a little bit more about a product or service before and, and do some research before they actually make a purchase. So why this is important to know is you want to make sure that you're answering that query the best you can so if you have a blog post if you have an article if you're posting on forums and you want to make sure that you deliver answer the question pretty much that the person is asking and let's say this is going to be an informational blog post right i'll talk to you a little bit in a few minutes about how you can do that informational blog post and if you're an affiliate marketer for example for a skincare product that has retinol how you can send your traffic to that offer too in case they are ready to make a purchase but what we want to accomplish here is to at, at the very least when it comes to informational responses provide them the information they need just pretty much answer their question that's what's going to keep them on your site longer willing to look at other blog posts or articles you have around this subject or similar subjects or whatever your blog is about. That's what's going to help you establish more authority with that person and get them to trust that the information you're giving them is, is valuable. And this is what Google wants to see. They want to see that you're actually helping your, helping the people that come and are in, in returning users. Because if you're answering questions and you're doing it quickly and concisely, they're more likely to bookmark your page. They're more likely to come back with other questions that they have. So this people is what Google is looking for now. Like they said, they're okay with AI content, but does it answer the question? Because they know AI content isn't going anywhere. So anyway, I'll get off that soapbox. So I just want to show you, we're going to use the expand feature that I mentioned within Text Cortex. And because this is already installed in my Google as in my Google browser as a Google extension, I've put this question down in my Google Doc, and all I have to do is highlight it here. And you see these two arrows. We won't get into all the features. I do have other videos about those, and there are some that I will be diving deeper into in the coming days. So if you would like to be notified when those deep dives happen please subscribe to the channel so you'll you'll be notified when that comes out. So again, we're just going to hit the expand here. And this is where you can highlight a paragraph and let, Corte let text cortex build on top of it. I love that feature. So I'm just going to simply hit expand here. Boom, it's taking that question and it's 
giving us a response here, right? And I am going to copy this response and paste the response right into the Google Doc. And the question is, the question was, what is retinol? And it's just going to give you the answer here. Retinol is a form of vitamin A that is found in various foods and dietary supplements. It is also a, a popular ingredient in many skincare products. Da, 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 da. I won't bore you with this whole thing. Of course, if you'd like to read it, just pause and and read this. It, it's, it's, it's pretty good stuff so far. Now, again, if you are concerned about it being AI content, um, of course, you can, and I encourage you to add your read through this. This is just a foundation. Add your own knowledge, add your own insights, do you know your additional research and augment this text as you see fit. But the question we want to answer here for us is, does this answer the question? And of course it does. It starts out by telling you exactly what retinol is. It's a form of vitamin A. And it goes on to say that it's, it's a potent antioxidant, which means that it can help protect the skin from damage caused by free radicals. There are molecules that are produced by the body in response to factors such as pollution, da, da, da. Great, all right? Now, this is a pretty good amount of content and it, and it more than thoroughly answers the question. And what I wanna point out here too is what I'm moving to, and I'm gonna be doing this, I'm revamping one of my websites right now one of my blogs, and I'm going to practice doing bite-sized blog posts just like this to answer questions quickly or to get information out there quickly. If there's a product I'm promoting, I you see the amount of text you see here on the screen is about what I want to do in my articles, in my blog posts to get people bite-sized information quickly. And I believe this is probably one of the ways you're going to be able to compete with sites like Reddit and forums because people don't want to spend a long time getting an answer to something they just quickly want to know about. So if you're able to, <coughs> sorry, if you're able to pack in the information you need quickly and thoroughly, that person gets what they need. And guess what? That means is it didn't take a lot of time to read this particular um, informational post. So let's say you also have a, a post that's a product description or that's one of your more buyer focused blog posts. They have more mental energy and perhaps time to read that because you got them the answer they need and you would just simply do something here like, you know, put your next article in, like if, you know, put your next, your link to your next article. If you want to, learn more or you know to see pricing information or to you know to learn to see where you can buy retinol products or if you want to say to see a list of the best retinol products you put that here that takes them to that next article and boom a what that does is google's see that that person's clicking on other links in your site, which means that that person probably likes what you gave them, the information you gave them that made them want to click another one. And if, you know, they go to that next article and click on more, if, if they're, and they're just looking at how long you kept that person on your site. And all of this is working to help you become an authority and hopefully that person will come back. So I do understand though, that there are times where you might want to give people the subject matter does require a longer, more detailed response. And that's like, if it's a subject that people are passionate about or something that's really complex that takes a lot of explaining, um, of course, you're gonna probably go for longer form content, but when it's, if it can be concise and to the point and does the trick, I encourage you to do that. That's gonna allow you to get more content out because you're spending less time and it's going to allow the readers to consume more of your content. So sorry to go down that rabbit hole. It's just where I'm moving to now. And I just feel like it's something to keep top of mind. I will be updating my blog with that same technique. And I'll keep you guys posted on exactly how that's doing. Um, and it also gives you an opportunity to target many more keywords around a particular subject to help you gain authority.
you got more pages, you got more links to click through, which again is more time, people spending more time on your on your site and consuming more of your content. So, I mean, that's a win-win there. So I, you know, and of course, like I said earlier, if you want to go in and, you know, of course, add your own, put your own funk on this. And of course you can run it through your AI detectors and see, you know, what kind of score you get. So you can augment it further. But if Google is really okay with us using AI content, the main question we wanna ask here is, did it answer the question? Or did it tell the story? Did it convey what I wanted it to convey? Will the user, will the reader be satisfied after reading this? Boom. I think this accomplishes that. And what I love about this is, you know, if you go into something like ChatGPT, you want to copy 10 questions or you want to go into a forum and answer questions, as we know that's a very uh, powerful way to gain authority on, in, on forums and, and get and drive traffic to your products and offers. Come in, drop your 10 questions here, expand on each question, answer it, boom, you have it all right there within this document and you can post it as needed. Now, I will have a video coming out here very soon where I'm gonna teach you how to dominate the forums using TechScore Text. So again, if you'd like to see that, subscribe to the channel, check back so you'll be notified as soon as that powerful article comes out. So now we are gonna to move to the rewrite feature. And let me show you how powerful that is to get you to make sure you're meeting your readers needs as well and of course you guessed it we can do that right within the same document the same form as well so i'm simply again going to highlight this entire text let's say we just didn't like it let's say it just didn't answer the question and we just want to see some see some other information we're just going to highlight this entire text we're going to click on this little icon here that says rewrite highlight a full sentence or a paragraph and improve the structure and wording. So you can do that. And I'm just gonna click the rewrite button here and it's going to, I don't know why it's telling me to sign up, X Cortex member. So we're just gonna copy that text, paste it into the same document. This up here, of course, response number one. This is response number two. Now, okay, yes, this is another iteration of that, but there's another cool feature within Text Cortex I really want to show you and why this rewrite tool is so variable. I mean, so valuable. First of all, it's going to give you different variations of that response so that you can decide which one you like better. OK, but let's say for we'll take response number two, you know, retinol commonly found in food and dietary supplements is favorite many skincare products for anti-aging, blah, 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 blah. Good stuff. You can make this a, no, a whole new blog post. You can make this a response to another question on the forum, you know, and when it comes to like writing a new article, expanding on it, you'll do that. And this is a foundation for you to do that. So right here, you already have two different variations, pretty much answering the same questions. And this is putting this is providing more information. So maybe this can be a response to a similar question, which is another post, which is, is another article, which is another response to a forum question. You get the gist. But what I really want to show you that explodes the power of a tool like this is we're going to click on this text again and we're going to go down to you can show you some other feature of this features of this toolbar. You can highlight it and turn it into a full paragraph paragraph for like creative writing, right? You can make this into bullet points, translate it <clears throat> into another language, um, text to speech, summarize tone, though, is what I wanted to show you. Let's say you wanted to change the, the tone of this entire paragraph. You can do that. You can even do it down to the very sentence, right? So I'm just going to change the tone of this whole paragraph and see what we get. So we can make it cheerful, we can make it decisive, casual, encouraging, formal, gentle, whatever, respectful, uh, blunt, urgent. <laughs> well, I won't even get into that. But 
let's say you just want to be cheerful in your answer to this response, I mean, your answer to this question. And it's gonna go out and it's gonna go ahead and rewrite that in a more cheerful tone for us. And there you have it, copy and paste that in here. And I'm going to, you can see the stark difference in the tone of these two, whereas the top one is more formal, educational, just pretty straight to the point, streamlined. Got a little bit of personality down here. Retinol is truly a miracle ingredient. Not only is it found in many delicious foods and supplements, but it also works wonders for our skin. Da 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 da. This is the tone we want to have for, for our blog posts or articles that are responding to buyer intent. And we want to encourage people to buy a product and get them hyped about it, right? So just within those few features, you can see how you can get various iterations of an article, a response, and you can adapt them pretty quickly. And imagine doing this, it just saves you so much time. Imagine doing this for 10, 20 different questions. You can come in here and do it quickly. You can play around with the different tones and quickly read through them and see which one is best for the content that you're trying to produce at that time. So it's about, it's about saving time. It's about answering the questions satisfying Google and satisfying the reader. They're about ultimately satisfying yourself. Just had to say that. So I'm gonna leave this on the screen here, just enough for you to pause it so you can look at the difference between response one and response two. Just to show you how much power in those two little tools are those two little features within the text cortex tool that will have you responding to your questions quickly, providing relevant content on your blog quickly that Google will like. So imagine taking this and doing that for X amount of articles. You can come up with a week, a month's worth of content in minutes. But anyway, I'll get off that soapbox. The last feature I wanted to show you here is the summarize feature. So we'll do that really quickly and I'll wrap it up. So what I've done here is pretty much take that same question we started with in the beginning. What is retinol? Let me go up here. What is retinol? I put that into Google and I'm just gonna go through and search. Like this is a popular blog here, Healthline. I'm gonna come to that. What is retinol? It's gonna open up the other window for us. And as you can see, our trusty little business co-pilot here Text Cortex is on the scene. So I am going to click on that and I'm going to ask it to some to please summarize the information on this page. And you will have to provide the URL for that site in order for it to do that. And I'm just going to drop that URL in here. And Text Cortex is going to go ahead and check that page. And it's going to give us a nice, beautiful summary of it. And again, you can go from here and augment this as necessary. You can ask it for additional, additional, additional information. But of course, what I would do is just copy this and I, I would bring it back into my Google Doc and expand on it, edit it, augment it, summarize it, do whatever I want to do with it, play around with the different tones that I showed you. And this is just an example of how powerful this tool can be. You can use it pre um, pretty much to get information from any kind of website. And of course, not taking people's information, but to help you come up with ideas, to help you do your research, when you want to come up with your content creation plan, it's a very powerful tool to help you. And it's called their Zeno chat feature. And that is a, a, a video I did on that in detail. If you'd like to check that out, it'll be down in the description for you to just play around with it and, and at least get a little bit more information about the Zeno chat feature and the power of this platform. So one other thing too is 
text cortex and i'll wrap up with this has the ability for you to add knowledge bases to the platform so that if you are a authority on a subject let's say you i don't know are a scientific researcher or something and you do a lot of writing in that space you can go and upload your white papers about that or like it's some technology that you teach or explain or know a lot about you can create knowledge bases with it within text cortex and where all, wherever you get your information from whether it's the web whether it's authority sites um authoritative sites you can compile that information into your own knowledge base or you can simply upload if you have a, a huge blog that already exists you can take the content from that entire blog and put it into a knowledge base so that it learns how to write like you and that will help you come up with content super easy i just wanted to mention that to you because i will have a deep dive of how to set up a knowledge base and the power of something like that within a platform like text cortex and how it can truly serve as a business co-pilot for you and help you expand your content content creation and take it to another level so if you like to see that consider subscribing to the channel so you'll be notified when that deep dive comes out i hope you found this information to be helpful like i said what i wanted to accomplish here was to show you how easy it is to use these tools to make sure you're creating content that google will love and and what that takes is again you satisfying two entities that's your reader and that's google and um i think if you want to play around with these tools there is of course a link down in the description for you to do that i encourage you to play around with it in an effort to keep this video short and i'm sorry it's so long um i just really thought you'd get a lot of value out of seeing the time saving tips and the amount of information that you can get quickly and um explode your content so thank you for tuning in to this video by the tech agitator stay tuned for the next one and i'll see you in the next one